ominous door is ominous. Oh, this is how he got out, but it's not interacting or anything with me. Huh. Am I too stupid to get out? Do I have to press a button? Unfinished activity. Do you want to save your work? Ah, oh, great to know the officers didn't do well. Who infiltrated Raccoon City? Test run at University do it, packing doing K nice to canvas six four seven and no survivors. Oh so guys were like sweeping around with these guys. Maybe we were gonna Ah, so he was like pushing them around, great. Got two, got eyes on two stars, a male infected and female, bioweapon is pursuing the female. Oh, it's JV, I wonder who that is. Uh, bioweapons appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N investigating. So he doesn't know about other bioweapons in his own thing. And he seems to be messing around deliberately murdering people. What do they have to... What's the job description, Umbrella? Has to be intrinsically evil. Or at least show signs of being so. In interview. Seems to be strongly fixated on terminating GV and there's a secret layout. Imprinted, a metamorphosis triggered by a hostile encounter GV, the infected and its non responsive collected samples. Surely he's been he's leaving it pretty late himself to be leaving if this is all reconnaissance. Over 17 hours of elapsed since JV's exposure to virus conversion has been slow, stitching she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to JV by CO. Carlos. I don't know his surname. Carlos Octopus. But why exposure to me makes it change, and nothing else? That seems really weird. These videos attached, do we watch them now? We do not. You came back, asked Tyrell. Tyrell's dead. Yeah, where's Carlos? How can we do that though? How do we do that? <laughs> Tyrell's not gonna survive, is he? We saved his life. Well, can I go through first? Do you go through first? He goes through first. That means you're gonna die because this is a laser hallway. They always have a laser hallway. This has got to be the laser hallway. This is not the laser hallway. Laser hallway. Laser hallway. Hello. This, there, it wasn't. How did neither of you see that? You both look that way. Tell me that thing just stealthily dropped down on tiny spider feet. No! It's like what happened to that cool Hispanic guy in uh, RE4. No! All the cool side characters. Oh, he's fast. I'm glad this is a cutscene. But for how long? Why would you stay there? Just run. Just, is there a 
sitting there just lying on the floor. Ooh, get the vaccine. Gotta get the vaccine. The zombies. Oh, jeez. Is there never like, big puzzle area here? Ooh. Feels like there's a big puzzle area here. Another save room? Tyrell's dead, by the way. Tyrell just got hard rocked. He came to disperse exposit massive information that we really needed and then just instantly ate shit in the next scene. That's why I was like, laser hallway, because like, normally these things have stupid laser hallways and I thought, oh, he's gonna die doing that. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility, glad they had a sequel to Nest, because the first one did such great hits at the box office. Um, uh, the research was a different one. Here we focus on real world use cases. Great. We need for T-Virus a new weapon we keep for suppressing bioweapons. Yeah, that would work out. Let's create a weapon that we have no control over and release it. It's like Jurassic World all over again. And every of these mad people's ideas, we can weaponize this. You can't weaponize something you can't control. <laughs> hey guys, we got this tank, and occasionally it just blows itself up. Or massacres everyone on the inside. What a great weapon. Give them to the military straight away. We got this gun that sometimes turns into a grenade. And sometimes just randomly causes people to go crazy and shoot their own teammates. Great, sounds awesome. Doesn't break any UN conventions, either conventions. Don't worry about that. It's a reason they don't put chainsaws on the end of assault rifles. <laughs> like, you know, literally, they have to make sure these things are safe to be operated by a military personnel. They're straight up people the government hires. I know, <laughs> I've met them. <laughs> literally, there's people, like, safety officers who exist to make sure that a tank does not accidentally fucking murder people. So in what world are they going to create a psychotic zombie demon that murders everything in its way and then, you know, go, oh yeah, that seems fine. In what situation are you going to be able to just go, yeah, that doesn't break any, like... Even in war, you're not allowed to do certain things. This is what always pisses me off about these things. They go, yeah, I don't see a problem with Nemesis. Or like in Jurassic World where they're like, yeah, just give the Velociraptors guns and mega armor. It will be fine. That's not how war works. If you mutilate other people's military people, you can get punished for war crimes now because of World Wars 1 and 2. <laughs> like, you know, and the Vietnam War and a bunch of other wars. They're like... This shit's inhumane and unfair, and you're attacking people who are civilians. No. No, stop. <laughs> this, this is literally in the... If it, it can't happen. <laughs> like, you know, straight up, it can't fucking happen. Because if it ever got... Anybody got wind that any country was doing this, that country would then be taken to... Like, that government would be taken to trial for big, big war crime. Big, big, big war crime. Huge war crime. Because you release something like this, in theory, on somebody, and it just goes around murdering civilians and everything and allies and everybody, they're just going to go, yeah, that was fucking inhumane. <laughs> we got the map oh it just pisses me off so much it's like I've had conversations with people in the industry and they're like straight up tanks have to be made sure that they won't murder the occupants in the tank one two straight up there are straight up like laws preventing people from doing this this is not to say that bioweapons don't actually exist and, like, disease, weaponized disease research facilities don't exist. It's like nukes. Everyone has them. 
we're not really supposed to have them and it's hugely inhumane that we all do but basically every superpower has them but if they're ever released it's a huge war crime like straight up it's like if they're released in war it's a huge war crime if it's released randomly it's just a fucking massive humanitarian crime and disaster like you can't just make zombies and it be fine and oh well this will be a good like and who the fuck thinks zombies of all things are going to make a good military effort why you can train them to shoot guns how are they better than like a living human being that you can train how they, they deteriorate after a while as well because they're rotting it's just fucking stupid it's like people are trying to throw pseudoscience bullshit. Oh, they were made for the military. The military run under fairly tight, tight-ish kind of like um, regulations. They can't just go, you know what, I want to make napalm number two. They actually have to like, you know, comply to some shit. They can't just do that and it'd be fine. Oh, it makes me so annoyed. It's like it has to fit under reasonable things nowadays, you know? It has to be a degree of reasonable, like... Is this an effective and humane way to neutralize an enemy? Like a gun? Sure, it's still war is fucking shit and awful and terrorists and... Shooting people still isn't, like, the best way to deal with this shit. It's better just not to have a war. <laughs> but, like, you know... No need to fucking do terrifying murder shit to people for no real reason. Anyway, ran over. Literally, man. Hey guys, let's just reinvent mustard gas. What do you mean, Geneva Convention? Ah, seems fine. <laughs> Fucking crazy. And everyone always like romanticizes viral outbreaks as being these big zombified things, and it's like the realism is it's kind of like what we have today with COVID, which is you get something, it fucking hurts you a lot, and then you die. <laughs> like, you know, and it's like pneumonia. That's what a bioweapon would be like. It wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be interesting. You wouldn't. I one of these puzzles. I suck at these liquid puzzles. Yay, antigens and adjuvants. I'm glad Nathaniel Bard was useful for five seconds. I don't want to read it though. Oh, we have to go out here. My cat's being a pain. We need to key, but we have to key. Oh, we gotta plug it in somewhere else. Okay. What we got missing? Vaccine equipment. There, they have this big vaccine making thing, and I'm like, I don't know how we're gonna solve the problem. This big synthesis machine that can make lots of it pretty quickly. So glad this doesn't exist. You know what? <laughs> what kind of pissed me off was, did you know, recently, in the news, they were basically like, oh yeah, America is literally buying up all of the vaccines or potential anti-COVID drugs that basically exist or will soon exist to just gain monopoly on it. And so that they have full control over the vaccine thing. And you're just like, oh, great, awesome. I'm glad capitalism exists, don't you? Seriously, you're not alive. Okay. He's alive. I bet you. See? I knew it. Oh look, a first aid spray. And something else. 
What is that Graves diary? The pay was generous, the benefits were good, but guess what? It wasn't enough. The sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. I chickened out. Oh. I want to talk about these people, but they kept my family's safety hostage. Hey guys! Just gonna go out and say, like, that's bad. <laughs> Big bad. Not a fun time for him. So there was nothing bad there that I needed. I gotta go back down and plug it in down here. I do like the Nest Lab, it reminds me a lot of the Portal Labs. It's a very simple color scheme. I feel like it's this door. Oh, maybe it's not this door because it's like kind of half open. Looks like it's stuck. Oh. oh, that's. Hey man, if you are taking a tour around your new workplace and it looks like this, and there's like obvious cadavers hanging from the ceilings, maybe before. Think twice before signing that contract, you know? My cat scares me out. Oh great, he's not dead. None of these people are dead. No meow. No. I like to think I'm releasing them of their torment, but they're, they're really not going down, so it's not really doing anything. Hey, look, a thing. I need that. Thanks, little robot. Oh, jeez. Why do you sound like a crazy old granny? Fucking hell. Fuck you. Oh, there's just, they're just everywhere. Oh, and I'm straight up dead straight away. So you go in there and I thought, oh yeah, like that. I thought straight up like, oh, that'll be like safe. <laughs> and I'll just turn around, deal with them as I come out, and they just walk through the door like it was nothing. Oh, great, and we're miles away. Awesome. Oh, shit. I can't even remember how far away we are from this. Like, we have to do like a lot of running around now. A lot of running. A lot of running. Lot of running. Be faster this time because we know where things are, but then I'll probably just get fucking shot by something that I forgot. Shot. Eaten. I'll go down here straight away. Uh, last time you didn't get up, fuck you. Fucking bitch. Last time I shot her twice and she just stayed there. That's bullshit. I don't like that. I don't like that that changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up. And now it's just a green herb. Our last time it was a first aid spray. <sighs> they changed it up on me. It's not going well. I'm trying to remember what's in what room.
good. Good, I know. Don't like have my back to a room. So that pale head room is just not a nice room. <laughs> like gonna have to throw some things down there. note again. I thought this also. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just a lot of like stuff. Cat's being crazy. I really want to turn off my uh, air con because it's getting really cold in here. That's not good for him. Uh, but like, uh, I'll do it in the next cut. Mm. That was a bad area. Stop running! Runny? No! Why meow? No meow. So this whole room is not great. So we may have to do some stuff. You are not the one I that was intended for. I'm just gonna clear out this room because fuck this room. quickly. They're still moving quickly and they say, oh, they'll go sluggish if they take more damage. How many grenades to the face counts as damage? get up again. Shredded and they're still getting up on me. Bet you there's another one tucked away somewhere. Uh, so I can hear movements of oh, moaning. Shit. Really like just stuffing these on you. Burning through all my ammo dealing with these fucks. Let me guess, another one just for some variety. Oh great, I'm so glad you gave me two shotgun shells. That replaces the 60 I pumped into these fucks. Get the... There we go. Freaking herb. <laughs> I want a red herb. I really want a red herb. I really, really want a red herb. Oh great, yeah, because he's totally dead. Look how dead he is, look. Oh! You're not supposed to be dead. Oh, he's dying. He, oh, he's dead, but you know. It somehow leaked. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know how it would have leaked. Just complete the process. Trying to find a way to stop this outbreak, so at least we can do. Oh, man. I would hate to be. Uh, so many in my family and 
people I know were like throughout my career. You need to work in science. It'll be great. Nothing will ever go wrong. It'll be fun. You get paid really well. You'll be doing research that might help cure people in the future. And you're like, no, it would have been some bullshit like this, some sci-fi bullshit where I'm like, creating the next fucking murder weapon and me just be like, great, this is my job. Fucking creating death dealing, disturbing, uber destruction bullshit things. Oh, we can go around there. Must be. But I'm getting confused because this boss ass boss arena we haven't got the other thing yet, so, uh... Oh! Can you for once not get up? And take every bullet. Just fucking die for once, will you? Magnum. Oh, gotta like you gotta like my mild hope that it will one day be the Magnum. <laughs> Even though we know we've probably bought by the Magnum. I don't want to progress without getting the other bit, so we're going to go back and get the other bit, so let me just do that. Because we need the other bit. That's the whole reason I cleared out that area, because I was just like, fuck these guys, I'm getting this. I didn't know that this was even back here. Let me guess. One of you got up. One, two, three, should be one on the stairs, or near the stairs. Yeah, there he is. Can we just get the thing about these assholes all standing up? Conga lighting towards me while I'm locked into an animation or something. That feels cheap. We need it. That's all I have to say to you, bitch. Oh! More! Always more bullshit. It doesn't look like it's a lot of bullshit, but it's like... That just looks like... It's nothing. It's actually kind of weird. Why even this room? <sighs> really hanging on for that red hook. Uh, formerly request weaponry, normally reserved for the, 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 the available men. I'm not reading it. Uh, Growth abilities. Yeah, I noticed. You're talking about some sort of high powered weaponry. Now, I like these words. So, where the fuck's my magnum? <laughs> Give me the magnum. You just left it on the hospital courtyard grounds? I mean, that just doesn't seem like a place to leave a magnum. Just saying. Just super saying. I just remembered I had a dodge. I just- OH FUCK YOU! YOU! PIECE OF SHIT! I hate you, and I hate everything you are, and you're gonna die in a fire. This fire. Fuck you. Die. 
You're not welcome here. You or your kind. Came back the way you came. Shh, shh. Oh, you little cunt. You are not making any friends, motherfucker, with your Halloween reference sit up there. You're not the Undertaker. Fuck it. Stabbed in the dick, or wherever your dick used to be. I'm doing him a favor, let's face it. He's not happy the way he is. He can't see anything, he's got no dick, he's got no anything. I mean, is that really a life? Can't play video games. I mean, has he even pee? I mean, think about it, it's just, it's a shit life for him. We're doing him a favor. Where did he even fall from, like the roof? I'm mad. I'm not even, not even like, I didn't even get jumped by it. I'm just mad, you know, <laughs> like. Oh, great, more acid rounds. That would have been handy five seconds ago. It's fine. It's fine. But I am kind of mad, though. Can't lie. Pretty mad. How come we can just progress? Feels like this is hard progress into a big boss fight, you know? It's just what I'm saying. Glad they had this big case for a tiny pot of... It would make sense because I was literally seeing... Ooh. It's like an embryo. So I was sitting there looking at these... Ooh! Mr. X's. Look at them naked. Sorry, that's not the response. These are tyrants. So I was looking at these battle toads and I was thinking, yeah, that's that's not just coming from a zombie mutation, you know? That's some bullshit right there, that's what that is. Is there some sort of bad end we're walking towards? Because it kind of feels like we're going towards a bad end. You know what I mean? But I can't think, like, I don't think... We haven't got the other part of the thing yet to, like, synthesize the vaccine. Are we just bad ending because we didn't... I feel like we missed something because I got the culture sample. Oh, no, we're just... <laughs> we never made a fuel full circle. Kind of felt like I needed an antigen and an adjuvant, and I just picked up one vial that was called Culture Sample. Ow! Out of the way. Move, bitch. You're not making any friends here, bud. You're really not, like... Really not making any friends. Yeah, great, you can poke people from a long distance. I've got a longer poke, it's called a fucking gun. We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to do the thing, because I want to save the first aid spray for the final boss. So I'm gonna fuck up the final boss like eight times. No way! Be honest, I don't think we're gonna get to the final boss in this session because it's like nearly 11, and I said I'd stop at 11. I saved in mine rounds. I don't know what for, but sign. I feel like we'll get to. The, ooh. Hey, also, if your place of work has this, yeah, just just quit. Just quit. <laughs> Getting shanked, bitch. Hey, a green. See, I knew we had to get another thing. Ah, oh, that's good to know.
good. We got the two bits, I think. Gone. Oh. I'm just making it hard on myself at this point where I'm like, oh, it's going to be the magnet. It's not going to be the magnet. Concern. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would call working here a concern. Oh, you're not concerned about, like, any of the ethical reasons. You're concerned because, you know, because he's fine about that. Yeah, that actually doesn't seem like a great way to control anything in certain a parasitic organism. That seems really stupid, actually. If anything, it just gives the parasite control. It doesn't give you control unless you control the parasite. How do you control the parasite? It's still like, how to control this, like, wild organism? I know, introduce another wild organism. I mean, easy trouble... I thought it would be easier to just control a zombie than it would be to control a parasite. Parasites are just weird, but no, whatever. Uh, <laughs> viruses can be kept in check. <laughs> can they? <laughs> Yeah, oh, we'll just uh, we'll just pan out to the modern day. Viruses can be kept in check, everyone. <laughs> yeah, think, think controlling a parasite is somehow easier. You're a fucking idiot. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. <laughs> yeah, they called it some ridiculous name that would be clearly like a action movie name for an enemy, rather than something sensible, you know. No, don't jump on the computer. Yeah, I know what it is. But yeah. Yeah. Like, well done, you did something really stupid. It's like, says the guy who was also doing something equally stupid. Like, you're, you're really just pull, pointing fingers at who's the stupidest in a gallery of stupidity at this point. Hey, man, at least I only deal with viruses, not parasitic organisms that, you know, like... Parasites, I feel like parasites in general have a smaller transmission range, but, like, don't quote me on that. <laughs> like, whatever. Either way, it's like you're really just pointing at each other like the Spider-Man meme going, he's dumber. It's like, yeah, like, I oh, fuck you. I should have known that will happen. That will happen. No, we're not dealing with this. Fuck this. No, 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 no. Oh, we have to deal with this and I have no weapons. Great. Please tell me acid's really effective against these lovely things. Because I'm running out. <laughs> Please, one of you... There, one's dead. Now a tyrant will come out of some bullshit. Oh, ah, no, just more. More, yeah, sure, just break every test tube in this popsicle stand. <laughs> Great, awesome. I didn't need that health. That was that was my bitching health. Gonna dodge. Gonna dodge. <laughs> gotta, gotta go fast. One of you fuckers just go down, please. Oh no, just be an asshole. Stop with your duking shit. Oh, fuck off. These aren't fun. <laughs> These are just annoying, hey, we're just gonna, like, ruin this shit for you. Like, free, really, no weapons now, seriously, fuck. Just, this better work. You, you better, like, can we... Please open the doors. Thank you. 
I now have nothing but knife. Nothing but knife. Still motherfucker. Look at these little smug bastards. You mean they could just break out their tubes any time like that? No wonder the virus got out. I mean, that's just bad. Like, makes the tube stronger. Oh, wait. Oh. We, we need to get back to... The, why did he even need to go down there? Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, no, I did. This isn't going well for me, if you could work it out. I don't know what I'm going to do to the next zombie, like, poke him and run away. Because this is not the optimum run. <laughs> Fail through. <laughs> There's a pale head. We're fucked. Just go and throw that out there. No, I know what you're doing. I'm trying to jump on my laptop. I'll finish soon. We'll probably die in a minute. He's probably like, why is this strange man shouting at the at the glowy box? Why does he play it if it makes him angry? Because entertainment. Ooh, explosive, eh, you say? Well, we can make something, I think. Where are you, explosive, eh? Yes. Reminds me of my fallout when I was running out of ammo and everything. It's like, what do I have ammo left in? It was like one rocket and a rocket launcher. And the last guy just got fucking melted. And I was like, well, that felt immature. <laughs> like, well, I had nothing else to shoot at him. All my weapon, all my melee weapons are breaking, so. You say Red Herb through this door, but there's no door. Thus, there is no red herb. Oh, what the fuck? Am I... What have I been doing this whole time? Like... What? I've been walking by this red herb my whole life. Literally bitching about not having a red herb. Now have inner red herb, no other healing item. Awesome. Expert playthrough. Can you stop knocking things down? I'll be back in a minute. Just trying to get through this section. Can we just do that? I'm saving it. Fuck it. Oh, we better cut there as well. <laughs> 